I'm not sure how many of you out there are regular nappers, fans of napping. There's a lot of stigma about napping at work. It's seen as lazy. It's seen as sleeping on the job. But what's happened in recent years is that napping's had a bit of a resurgence, and it's starting to come back into fashion again. And the reason for this is there's been a lot of research in the last few years. There's been tons and tons of public advocacy, and just a general increase in. Awareness about sleep health and sleep science, and people are starting to realise that napping, as opposed to being a negative thing, it could actually be the opposite. Napping can increase your productivity. Napping can combat general fatigue. Napping can have benefits for memory, for cognitive tasks, for creativity, and so napping has caught the public imagination. And in certain circles, in the corporate sphere, in fitness, in health. People are starting to embrace the idea that naps could actually be a positive force for good, and we've seen some of the biggest companies in the world, like Google, installing special nap pods at work so their employees can take breaks. So this is the subject we're going to talk about today. So specifically, we're going to talk a little bit about the science, but we're also going to give you a very practical guide how to nap, and I think you'll find it really interesting. Even if you're a skeptic, if you're liking the Sleep Junkies podcast, don't forget to subscribe. We're on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, all those places, and we're also on social media. You can check Sleep Junkies on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. But that's it for the introduction. Hope you enjoy. I'm here this morning with Dr. Casper Janssen, and he's from the Netherlands on the other end of the line, not too far away from us in London. And I'm really, really excited and super pleased to have Casper on the line here because we're going to talk about one of my favourite subjects to do with sleep. Casper is a specialist in power napping. Good morning, Casper. Good morning, Jeff. Thanks for the introduction, and、um, very excited to be here. Can you just give us a little introduction about your background? You're a medical doctor, and also you've been a researcher. Yes, I'm a sports physician, so、uh, I was trained to、uh, treat athletes. And the last few years, I've been treating a lot of、uh, elite athletes as well. And my main focus has shifted to recovery and sleep because、um, during those years, when I was treating, for example, the Dutch rowers. It was very clear that they needed more recovery. So we saw that when they sleep better, they actually improved their performance. And by looking at their sleep, by monitoring their sleep, we saw that there was room for improvement and also to adjust their training regime. So that was the way I was actually interested in sleep and specifically in power napping. Was a little bit before that. So as a, as a medical doctor. I worked in a hospital and I was doing night shifts. And I noticed that, well, probably you all noticed that after lunch, sometimes you can be sort of sleepy, or you're reading a book and you're slowly falling away and thinking, "Well, I'm not focused here. I'm not getting the text in my head." So I noticed that when I fell asleep, lying on my book, and of course, then you wake up and you are scared. So you're drooling or something. So you think, "Well, what happened?" And then. Suddenly, I noticed that actually, after that short nap, I was more focused, and I was actually able to read the text and to really get the text in my head. So that was that was one of the ways that made me aware of the effects of power napping. So you came to it from kind of an intuitive sort of angle. It's something you exactly. You, you dis- I noticed that it helped me because I was sometimes having difficulty being focused during lectures. And well, you know that it's,、uh, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. You had a big lunch and you're sitting somewhere at a lecture trying to stay focused, but you're actually your attention is is going away. You're you're nodding with your head, and sometimes you think, oh well, did I actually get the message? So then I noticed that by doing a power nap, I could get rid of the tiredness and get fun.